A picture is worth a thousand words. A movie may be worth more, but sometimes words are not enough. A new documentary film, Beirut After the Blast, tells the story of the Lebanese victims demanding justice from their government, a government accused of corruption and negligence, leading to one of Lebanon's biggest tragedies. On August 4, 2020, almost 3,000 tons of explosive ammonium nitrate ignited in Beirut port. The stores had been left at the port since 2013 and were not properly protected. More than 200 people were killed and thousands were injured. The blast also destroyed the homes of over a quarter of a million. It was one of the most devastating non-nuclear explosions in human history. The film's director, Fahad Abu Salah, is addressing the psychological trauma that has been embedded in the city for the past two years. We wanted to document this event so we won't forget it. We also wanted to know what happened two years after the blast and wondered whether this event will be forgotten. Beirut After the Blast premiered in Dubai last week, but the screening was quite special. It took place in the metaverse. Audience members wore virtual reality headsets. They were completely immersed in the story. The people affected by the blast are still the same. They only painted and restored their houses. True, the buildings look better than before, but people cannot forget the incident. After the screening, the production company, a, quote, NFT-backed crowdfunding platform, released a collection of NFTs in Lebanon's honor, with all profits being donated to those affected by the tragedy. Those who remain here are now suffering from poverty. They cannot find bread, nor are they able to buy fuel or have access to medicine or medical treatment. The situation is very bad, so we're supporting those in need. Despite accusations of irresponsibility against senior Lebanese officials, none have been held accountable.